meet the second generation Cayman GT4, the 982 or better known as the 718 Cayman GT4. And with that, hello and welcome everybody to 911 Scales. My name is Michael and today we are looking at this newest and latest Porsche GT car, the now the entry level Porsche. And also we are going to discuss the mega fault Porsche has done and Porsche history buffs are enraged about this immense mistake they have made with the name of the 718 Cayman GT4. You guys know as usual first of all I'm going to give you guys some background information about the new 718 Cayman GT4 and the model here made by Mini Champs. Then I'm taking my macro lens and we are getting the camera up close to the model. I can show you all the details and all the lovely little things about it and in the end we are giving it our usual score points and price, quality, details, significance and rarity. So yeah, in the end you can decide if this model is worth adding it to your collection. I think it's wonderful they have chosen a yellow color for this model. All right, the Cayman GT4, the new one. Ah yeah, all right. Um, I, I think I have to do this. First of all, let me address the huge mistake Porsche has done. It's just incredible what they have done. And I, as a true Porsche history expert who knows everything and everything, really everything about Porsche, never made a mistake, you know, I'm a German. All right. We really should get all our pitchforks and uh, storm to Zuffenhausen and blow that whole place down because, yeah, the internet is outraged. Not only because they named the Taycan Turbo and Turbo S, which obviously is a huge fault, and um, yeah, they they just didn't knew that electric cars didn't had a turbo. And here they made the same mistake. They named Cayman GT4 718, even though it does not have a four cylinder. So clearly someone has missed the news that this car has a six cylinder engine, but yeah. Now we have to do it. We have to get to Sylvanhausen and storm the building and take off all 718 numbers of all 718 Cayman GT4. That's the only solution that the Porsche purists have for that, you know? I don't I I don't care. It's it's called 718 Cayman GT4, it has six cylinders. That's alright with me. Tiger Turbo S doesn't have a turbo that's all right with me today cars are named without any reason and well if Porsche is doing it it's all right the car is perfect and wonderful but yeah Porsche purist and history buff all right just a little fun beside the usual very serious reviews I do but now back to the real deal the 718 came in GT4 and now what's different the new 981 Cayman GT4 was such a huge success and had such a huge hype about it. Um, this one is uh, not very similar, there are huge differences. For the start, the front end and the rear end are completely different. You now have a huge diffuser at the back and uh, the front end is way more aggressive. Um, but the really big news is that this car has a new engine. It's got a six cylinder, four liter flat six, um, which is completely new. It's derived from the three liter Carrera S motor. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, they yeah, took off the turbos, made a naturally aspirated engine. And the best part is, um, this won't be the last iteration. They don't make a new engine for just one car. So yeah, and obviously this car retains a six-speed manual, but that's uh, not really important for the model. So the model itself, um, on the first glance, looks really, really nice. And yeah, um, it's not made by Chuko like the last one. Um, this is made by Mini Champs, but it has the same color theme. The presentation color was back then uh, yellow and is now yellow again. I think it works really well on the Cayman GT4 and I'm happy that it's a wonderful color and not something like white or gray or black or something like that. I'm really happy that they have chosen a color and I think this is a strong point for adding it to your collection. But that's enough of uh, chatting about uh, general things. Let's get the camera up close and get serious. Alrighty, Cayman GT4 up close. Um, yes, so details. Um, there are some details I would say that are very worth pointing out. Obviously it's a GT car. There are some very nice design features or necessities as you would call them for fast track driving. We start as usual at the front. Um, the 718 Cayman GT4 has a way more aggressive front look I would say than the predecessor, the 981. Here these front uh, daytime running lights and this uh, cutouts 
I think they are a bit too much. I don't think they are this extreme on the real car and stick out this much. The splitter on the other hand on the real car, I don't know if it's an option, but it does stick out more. Um, I don't know if this is a fault by Mini Champs or if they've done it on purpose. Maybe they've done the same mode for the Cayman GT4 in this section as for the uh, Spider, which does not have this huge front splitter, but the Cayman GT4 does and this would stick out way more. The wheels uh, look also not perfectly. Um, let me blend in the picture for that so that you can compare. So they, I think they are a bit more edgy here on the on the end of the of the spokes. So yeah, um, but that's really only very minor critical points. Overall, this model makes a very good impression. Also, headlamps are all right for me. Mini Champs quality is always a bit problematic there, spark dust is better. But yeah, for Mini Champs they are very, very nice. And coming to the full side view, um, you can see like, you can see uh, obviously GT4 logo here. Um, yeah, this is becoming a very classic look for the Caymans. Uh, and the Cayman GT4 with the bigger air vent have a striking look for me. Um, let's get on a bit to the rear. Rear lamps, obviously the new spoiler for the Cayman GT4. Um, a really really nice one. The prototype of the RS is driving around with a top hinged spoiler like the GT3 so um, this will be quite an interesting car I think. Uh, error arise. But yeah let's uh, focus on this model. At the rear you see I'm quite quite quickly getting through here because there aren't so so many details I can point out. Um, yeah, It's very very slippery body. There aren't like on a race car for example if you've seen the <coughs> Coca-Cola RSR review there are way more details to look at. Here it's not so much. Obviously Cayman GT4 logo here very well done, crystal clear. The Porsche uh, writing here um, I think the 718 was the first one to have this. It's not a light bar like on the Panamera which started that but uh, the writing is going all the way through and I really like that and Mini Champs here did also a fantastic work. I don't know why it's here well and why it's on the Macan Turbo well but on the 992 and on the Taycan it's not that great. So yeah but here it is which is very well and I'm happy to point that out as a positive feature of this model and a very well done Mini Champs. Something which I think is not so well done are the new exhaust. Uh, the exhausts are very very bigger on the real car I would say. Um, Obviously it's it's hard to compare, right? So <clears throat> you just know it from the pictures and the new exhaust on the 718 Spider and uh, GT4 are very, very big. Way too huge for my taste, but that's it on the real car. So it has to be also on the model car. So for me, these look way too tiny. I actually prefer the look on the model than on the real car, but yeah. Um, we have to be honest, I think these are a bit too small. So last thing to point out, I just noticed this car that is now a very subjective opinion, but I think it's great that they've added the red brake calipers of the steel brakes and not the yellow caliper of the uh, carbon ceramics. Um, I like the red uh, brake calipers in general more and I think it uh, works perfectly with this reflector and the rear lights. But I can understand that for some of you guys, um, the yellow calipers of the PCCBs would have fitted better on this model. So as you've seen, this model is really nice and Mini Shams did a solid job, um, which will also be positively reflected in our scores here. Um, getting to our first category price, um, this is where the model is actually really good. It costs only 49 euros at your local Porsche dealer. And uh, this gets us right out 7 out of 10, um, which is quite a high score for a GT car. Usually they are way more expensive, but this one really nice that it only costs 49 euros. I think that's a great uh, addition and Porsche really should do this more. Sure, it's not limited, but that's for another point. Uh, next up, quality here uh, gets only a 6 out of 10. Usually my Mini Champs models get always a 7 out of 10, but with this one, this is the second batch they produced, I think, the first batch was already sold in September by some online sellers and not at the Porsche dealers and they had some quality problems. Um, one specific one which was yeah quite spectacular. Um, the front screw, these models are held together with two screws, one in the rear, one in the front and one of the screws or both screws um, failed. And the, so the model split apart and when you opened your package and had a model inside it looked like this. 
<laughs> so not very nice, but this one fixed it and uh, therefore it gets only 6 out of 10, not a 7 out of 10, but yeah, it should be all right with the newer models. Um, but yeah, if you're looking at, uh, at them on the used markets, make sure to ask the seller uh, before if there's any problem with the model and that he maybe yeah, put some stuff inside the box that it does not fall apart, then you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So next up details. Um, yeah, this is also a solid six out of 10. Um, yeah, the Cayman GT4 has some nice details, but it's not like this extravagant GT3 RS or doesn't even come close to any race cars. So overall the details are very well. There are some things that I pointed out um, that I didn't really like so much. So for instance, the, the front bumper, it looks very good in general, but I think these things here stick out a bit too much. And the exhaust pipe look a bit cheap, yeah? That's pretty much all. This is why this model gets a six out of 10. But um, yeah, there aren't many details to work this in the first place, so it's not completely Minichamp's fault. All right, skipping that debate, uh, coming to our next point, uh, rarity. This isn't a rare model, um, which is a good thing, I think. Um, why should a Cayman GT4 be a rare model and people shouldn't be able to get that, especially in the presentation the color theme? I think these uh, presentation models uh, should always be plentiful around. Um, I'm glad that they've done it. I think it's in general a good thing that models aren't too rare, but yeah, sure. If you're like the hardcore collector who wants the rarest model, it's not the model for you. Sure, you will have them as well because you collect everything. And variety wise, this is why this model gets only a 5 out of 10. Significance, this is where this model shines a bit more. Give, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 because I think a new Cayman GT4 is always worthwhile in the Porsche history. And this one is... Uh, not as significant as the first one, but uh, this has some very big shoes to fill. Um, the Cayman GT4 proved extremely popular. Uh, also in Porsche customer racing, uh, the Cayman GT4 is the basis for the Cayman GT4 club sport. So it has to be a very good car and has to be very popular. Because it has this new engine, I am very excited about the future. I'm counting on a GT4 RS. Um, there are already some prototypes around, so this is a quite significant car and gets there for the 7 out of 10. So this means a 143 scale 718 Cayman GT4 made by Minichamus gets a 31 out of 50, um, which is a solid point and I'm quite happy with that. I don't think it's a huge problem that Verity pulls the thing a bit down. And let's see how it does on our scoreboard. All right, coming to the end of this review, if you want to see the full scoreboard uh, with each category scores for each model, please check out the link down in the description. Very thankful that you've tuned in again for 911 Scales uh, to see this review. And also, if you're following me on Instagram, thank you very much. Um, I'm posting there very regularly some pictures of these cars. And if you stick around for this long to this video, why not make sure to subscribe to this channel? The button is here down below in wonderful red. Click it and be happy. And thank you very much again. Allah, ciao.